All right, well, hi, I'm Jack, and I really felt God put on my heart that I needed to share really the last several months of my life. It's been a bit of a journey. Um, we're still in the middle of it, but I really felt at this point in time we needed to share where we're at right now. So really going back to about the beginning of the year, January, February time, started noticing some changes in my body, started feeling a lot of different symptoms and stuff, and a process started at that point uh, that went on for months where we kind of went through the usual things of go see the doctor, go to the clinic. So at the end of the day, after months of tests and scans and doctor visits, we finally got the report uh, from our doctor that I do have approximately a three inch diameter tumor or lump of some sort in my liver. So the whole time, I mean, even from the first ultrasound, you start kind of looking up going, what are we doing? Like, what are we dealing with here? I mean, can it actually be cancer? Like, what's happening here, God? And, you know, kind of got God saying, one day at a time, I'll take you through it. Don't worry. And I was, I didn't get an answer from God, like what we're dealing with. I didn't get a, don't worry, everything's going to be okay, which leaves you kind of thinking, maybe this isn't good. We finally get the final report and it does turn out to be cancer. So, what does that mean? And I kind of said to God, well, I kind of want to know, what does that mean? I mean, I have cancer. And God's answer to me at the time was, and if you had cancer, my answer to you would be, you're a blessed man. And I kind of said to God, well, what does that mean? I have cancer and I'm a blessed man. I mean, how, how does somebody consider cancer a blessing? God said, it's not the cancer that's the blessing. It's that you are a blessed man. And I said to God, I get it, I get it. Count my blessings, you know, sure, we, we understand that, count your blessings. But now you're in the thick of something fairly serious that I'm trying to sort out with God, like, okay, so I, okay, I'm blessed, all right, I get it. My wonderful wife, my wonderful kids, I've got a family, we've had a good life. And yeah, okay, I'm a blessed man. And I felt God say to me, yeah, but that's not it. You're more blessed than that. You've got eternity. And he said, you're more blessed because you have me. And he really gave me a good picture of my whole life. And my whole life is not this life. It's eternal life and kind of gave me a perspective of his view of my life. And here we are in this tiny itty bitty little segment of time that we call life and that we refer to the afterlife is the afterlife. And God's kind of saying to me, that's not the afterlife, that is life. And he's like, because you have me, you have everything you need for eternity. So you're a blessed man. Not everybody has that. For a lot of people, this little piece is all they've got. That's the only life they got because they refuse to acknowledge who God is they end up on the other side in this big timeline alone, without God. Is that hell? I suppose. But without God? Yeah, without God, I can imagine that's, you know, the worst you can possibly imagine for eternity without God. Everything in this life is going to pass away that you call life. But the one thing that remains is me. And you will have me here, and you will have me there, and you will have me for eternity. I can distinctly remember actually, again, being on Manitoulin Island, sitting at the beach. I'm on vacation, so what else are you thinking about? Well, <laughs> I got diagnosed with cancer three days before we went up north. What else do you think you're thinking about the entire week, right? I mean, we're trying not to. We're trying to just go on and live life, right? I kind of sense God doing that. But you can't help but watch your 22-year-old daughter walk down the beach with her boyfriend and kind of look to God and go, do I get to walk? any of my daughters down the aisle? You know, do I get to see my son grow up? And God coming back to me saying, those are wonderful times. And you may get to see all of that happen. But again, put me ahead of all of that and it will be okay. God's got it under control. I'm in the middle of it even right now. We don't know yet what the outcome's gonna be. 
But I know God's going to get us through it. And he provides the peace and the joy and the strength and the goodness and the kindness to get through everything that we face. You know. So I'm a blessed man. <laughs>